as expected. Also, Connor wins, but look at a mean mug and pit staff. Point to his hand telling Dave John Castle, your time is coming. He wanted to wrestle him, and he didn't even go over to shake the hand. What a competitor. He wants to win. Connor's win has UNC back in it, and now they'll turn to a little star power with Joey Mazzara. They call him Joey Vegas, the glittering lights of Las Vegas. Bishop Gorman High School taking on Holden Heller, the first of the two Heller brothers. Holden, the redshirt senior, transferring in from Riverwoods, Illinois. Marion Catholic his first year here at Pitt, taking on Joey Mazzara, 13-7 and seven this year. And immediately, Joey Vegas has got to be careful on shooting and not having a real committed shot. Because when you wrestle the Heller brothers, they're very good at scrambling and counter offense. Oh my, that was, that was a really good, that was a really good duck right there. That was, he touched the mat. He was underneath with a claw right. That was really good. So the duck on the way to do, he's like, just just wind down and get behind. And then he just seals the hip and brings it to the mat. Really good. As we talked about, first year at Pitt for Heller, spent three years for Hofstra. Took a red shirt last year. NCAA qualifier a couple of years ago. Was an EIWA conference champion. Great. Green Heller Brothers, down. certainly a big reason Pitt had success on the road last week in Blacksburg. Get set. Guy slowed up a little bit. Really good success. He's good on top, and he has what's called a claw rod when you go underneath the armpit and set. grab cover, the trapezius muscle and hold on tight. And there it is, right around the neck. That's where it's good. So what So what does Joey Vegas, has, Vegas have to do? He has to what's called bump him. Bump him off of that side to the other side to loosen it up. So whatever the claw is, you want to bump it off that side. Back to his feet. Good job there by Mazar to get away. Joey Mazar really stepped up for the team when he first arrived on campus. He wrestled up at 184 just to fill a need as you see Heller go right back on the offense. Working his way up the left leg of Mazar. Shelves it, looks for one sweep, tries a second sweep, and he goes up for the one. And no disrespect to Heller, but that was a bad shot. All he wants to do is get to a leg and create something. If we ran that back and saw it's like there was no penetration, penetration shot there, he just reached, and if he feels he can get the leg, he can create offense. And again, no disrespect to Heller. Because he still got the take there. We gotta work. It's quite a family when you look at the Hellers. Holden. We're watching now and Younger brother, Reese, her father was into martial arts. They have another brother, Reese. Sage, their older sister, Willow. And actually, it was Willow was the first one to get into combat sports. She was into judo. Improve. And a lot of success. Three pretty good careers for the brothers. Holden and Reese. Far from done. Two years of eligibility still for Holden, three remaining for Reese at 184. One of the things that Coleman Scott said about Mazzara is that he's just got to believe in himself. They believe in him, he's got to believe in himself. Yeah, he had a tough bout with McCoy last week. Mazzara was able to get the takedown. You talk about belief. He was able to get the takedown in the second period to tie it at four. But then he ends up losing on a neutral danger call late. Just belief and confidence to take those shots a little bit earlier in the match and, and not let it come down to it. Short time left in the period. Four to one lead with Heller and a mountain of riding time that he has. So here it is, the second takedown. He just kind of just reaches, nothing great. But then he just sucked that leg in. He feels that if I can get to the leg, I'm going to finish. And that's what he did to get the second takedown. 
Keep it high and trip low. A little quick. Slow it up a little. Caution, Brad. All right. Wait for me. Wait. Wait. All right. Get set. You're on. Yep. Offense coming from Holden Heller. Caution that time given to Mazar, trying to get a head start on top. He comes back with a claw of his own into a tripod, now into a stand-up, and Heller is away. 5-1, Heller with the lead. Minute 59 of riding time as well. You see the defense that's happening? Joy Mazar had the underhook, and what Heller did, he just kind of put his elbow in the pit of the elbow of Mazar. One thing that you're noticing about Heller, he has longer arms, so his penetration steps doesn't have to be as deep as someone else because he has length to get there. There's some of the length on full display as he is in. Deep shot on Mazzoni for two more. So look at him, looking at the coach, and says, Coach, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to, to, to ride or do you want me to, to let him go? So uh, again, a mountain of riding time right now. One red neutral. Mazzara oh, trying to get to his offense near the edge and he's close to doing it. Can't quite seal up the, the far leg. Trying to get control. Still has his right foot inbounds. One more thrust as he tried to toe drag it. But the continuation of action goes out of bounds, and Heller dodges really the first true threat offensively from Joey Mazzara. That's a confidence builder. He said, I can get in, and there was a little more real estate. He could have finished that. Similar to what we saw at 125. You know, you weather the storm, and then get a little confidence here. Short time wrestling inside 10 seconds, seven to two. It's been all Holden Heller. And the transfer from Hofstra with the lead. He has some big shoes to fill. Jake Winsel now in a volunteer assistant role for coach Keith Gavin. Winsel was a hammer at 165. In fact, it's ironic. Winsel was one of the guys that Kind of help Usher hold it here at Pitt. He showed him around campus, both he and Cole Matthews. And what a great one to learn from now with Winslow on the bench. And you had a chance to talk to Jake this week a couple of times. What we, what we miss is that UNC decided to go down and immediately Pitt says, let's go neutral, give up a point because they feel better in offense. And yes, talking to Jake Wenzel, you know, he enjoys his coaching. And he enjoys talking about, oh, good, good shot there. But this is where Odin Heller is pretty good at sliding around, looking like he's trying to get control. Control is felt. So it's not anything where it's just automatically, it's got to be a control situation dictated by the official. Now there's control there. And talking to Jake Wenzel, Jake Wenzel said Holden Heller wrestles through every position. And for a national finalist to say he wrestles through every position, that's high praise. Look, that's, that's good coaching because Holden Heller knew what do I do and looked immediately over to the pit staff to say, Coach, do you want me to let him go or keep him down? And Coach said, keep him down. Keep him down and see if we can turn here. As riding time lock, the turn would put him in the major decision category and 14 points for Pitt. Already up 15 to eight through seven matches. And we get a stalemate call back to the center. I wonder if they're gonna say, let him go, let him go. Yes, yes, they did. So Pitt said, let him go. They're gonna to try to get a major decision. And Joey Vegas has to just be tough here and don't give it up. So what you're looking at now with riding time, a 10-4 score for Heller, and a takedown will put him into the major decision. Scramble to close out this third period, and he gets the two, but there's the escape as Mazar gets away. So we're right back to a takedown situation for Heller to keep the bonus point opportunity. Tough wrestling there. 
by Joey Mazzara. He could have easily just said, I'm just going to give up this major decision, but he fought towards the end. Don't look now, but Holden Heller is getting on a little bit of a roll. Man, as he filled this opening at 165 beautifully for the Panthers. That's the first takedown was a nice slick duck under, and then he covered the hips, and then at that point, he was saying that if I can just get to the legs of Joy Mazzara, I'm going to get there. Finish high with the leg up, and then trip. 